In the Spotlight menu, under Architectural, there is a Create Seating Layout command. This command converts a closed shape, rectangle, circle, polygon, into a seating layout. It will fill the space with a selected chair symbol. This symbol can be chosen from one of the defaults or a custom symbol can be used. The resulting seating layout object has several modifiable options, ranging from focus point, seating and row spacing, to height and rise per row. In the view bar, choose theater-seats from the class list and audience from the layer list. Double click on the rectangle tool in the basic palette. In the create object dialog box, set the width to 64 feet, the height to 30 feet, uncheck position and next click, choose the top left control point, set X to negative 32 feet, Y to negative 10 feet, and click OK. With the rectangle selected, select Spotlight, Architectural, Create Seating Layout. In the Create Seating Layout dialog box, choose Use an Existing Symbol, then Defaults under Symbol Folders, and click the Thumbnail Preview under Symbols. Select the padded theater seat and click OK. A prompt to pick focus point will appear. Click OK, then click once on the center of the stage to set the focus point. Note, after setting the focus point, a seating count worksheet will appear. This is automatically created and is accessible through the resource browser. Close the worksheet and continue. We now have a basic seating layout focused on the center of the stage. Next, we will modify the settings of the layout. With the seating layout still selected, in the Object Info palette, set the seat spacing to 2 feet and the row spacing to 3 feet 6 inches. Check Concentric, uncheck Draw Boundary Line, and check Show Seat Number. Finally, let's add a center aisle. To create an aisle or seating sections, you can either modify the shape of the base object used to create the seating layout, or create additional seating layouts and arrange them. For our theater, we will modify the base object. We are going to use the Clip Service command from the Modify menu to remove a center strip of the seats. First, we need to create a rectangle to use as the clipping object. Activate the Rectangle tool in the Basic Palette. Switch to the Midpoint to Corner mode, which is the third mode. Click once at the bottom most point of the center guideline. This point will be just below the bottom center of the seating layout. You may need to use the snap loop. Move the cursor up and then press the tab key to enter the floating data bar. Set delta x to 2 feet, press the tab key, set delta y to 29 feet, and press enter or return twice. Select both the rectangle and the seating layout. Select modify, clip surface, delete the rectangle. Note, this process of clipping through a portion of the seating layout, but not completely through, keeps the seating layout as one object. If you clip completely through the seating layout, you will end up with two separate seating layout objects. In this situation, one single seating layout is easier to control and modify. You can also use the reshape tool located in the basic palette to customize the shape of the seating layout even further.